Hey folks, PCOCast here, back with more Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And there is a docking bay over here. Can I go in here? Oh, well, apparently I can. Or not. Leaving Otto City security zone, cameras deactivated. Um, entering Otto City security zone, cameras activated. Okay, so I guess I can't go through there. At least not right now. Another docking bay, 26A. I don't think it's actually allowing us to leave. Right, thanks for that. And this is not probably nothing, right? Yeah. Okay. I assume we'll uh, we'll go here at some point later on. It's a very long corridor. West Central. Visitors area. Jolan Apet. He's the same race as the Volkers. Yeah, what do you want? What are you doing here? I traveled the galaxy looking for Pazak players to challenge myself. I'm trying to build a deck good enough for the championships. Are you interested in the game? No. Well, I feel like it. That's what I'm here for. Okay, great to know. It's just hanging out here. Okay. That's, that's fine. Obey the laws here on Manan, human. Oh. Welcome to Manan. While you're here, I trust you'll follow all the rules governing the activities of off rollers. Pathetic laws of pathetic fish don't concern me. Your dislike of us only seems matched by our dislike of you. Personal feelings do not factor into our legal system, however, and all must obey our laws. The single most important law in Manon is very simple. Culto smuggling is punishable by death. If you're carrying any unprocessed culto, you better have a permit. The other rule is also very simple. Keep the peace. Here on Manon, we maintain a careful neutrality and we react very harshly to people who jeopardize our neutral status. Any confrontations between the Sith and Republic are dealt with swiftly and decisively, as this understood. How can you be uh, neutral when the Sith are trying to conquer everything? No, that's not. That's it, only two laws? Don't be foolish, human. Of course we have laws against murder, theft, and other crimes. These laws are hardly different from those of any other planet. Manon's neutrality is closely linked to our culto production. That is why I made special mention of the laws regarding smuggling and keeping the peace. I understand. There's a docking fee of 100 credits. You will have to pay this fee each time you dock on Manon, or you will not be permitted to the Otto City. Very well, here's the thing. I don't have... I won't be paying the fee right now. Persuade, to make it 50, and you got a deal. The amount of the fee is legislated by the Manon Board of Trade and Tourism. I am not at liberty to haggle on this matter. Fine. The Manon Board of Trade and Tourism thanks you, Offworlder. Here is a visitor guide and map to the city. Refer to it, should you have any questions. The gates of Auto City are now open to you. You may come and go as you please, so long as you do not leave the planet. If you do, you will have to pay the docking fee once more. Hmm. You don't say. Cell calf, lots of cell calf around. Yes. 
There's a lot Probably of money not. to be made in the Republic in times like these. If you survive, of course. So, soldier. Um, Alto Distribution Center? I cannot sell you Kalto unless you show me your purchase permit. Where can I get a purchase permit? One does not simply get a purchase permit. Such permits are brokered between intergalactic governments and the Upper City Export Authority. We do not sell unrefined Kalto by the hand kit. We sell it by the time. Go to a store if you wish to purchase Kalto for personal use. Want some information, man. I'm not here to answer your questions, Offworlder. I'm a distributor of Palto, the lifeblood of the Manon economy. Either show me your purchase permit or leave me in peace. Good. I'm far too busy to converse with Alexa Hugh. I don't have time to listen to your stories. I've got a full shipment of Kalto to load before my shift is over. I can't stop to talk to tourists. I'm on Kalto packing duty. Kalto packing duty. Not really sure where I'm uh, where I'm going here. I mean, we're searching for the Starforge, basically, or not the Starforge, but the map on Manon. You've been advised to see Roland Wan at the Republic Embassy for further information on Manon. I mean, he's going to be around here somewhere, I guess. Only the arbiters are permitted into the prison cells, human. Yeah. Uh, girls, you're in my way. I don't know how much longer I can. Never mind. The Republic respects the peace of Otto City, Your Honor. But the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic's soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. I'm aware of the Republic's indignation, however, witness reports clearly state your Republic soldiers were as willing to engage in violence as the Sith in this case. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. Taunts and threats are not sufficient provocation in the eyes of this court. Words can be ignored, which is what your men should have done. I find both the Republic and the Sith to be equally at fault in this breach of the peace. I should throw all parties involved into Auto City Jail, but since no cell cap or harm in this conflict, I will show mercy and levy a fine of 10,000 credits to both sides. The court is dismissed, though I warn you that further disturbances will not be viewed with such leniency. I'm sick of hearing about Manon's neutrality. It sounds like a coward's excuse not to fight, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. One day soon, the Selkath will pay for the indignities they have inflicted on the Sith. I am Judge Shelkar, acting on behalf of the Selkath government of Manon. It is my task today to answer the needs of off-world citizens of both the Republic and the Sith Empire. If you have legitimate grievances with another party, then you should speak to me. And you should first, however, consult with the Republic Embassy before pressing formal charges. Is there something you wish to bring to my attention? Um, how did you know I was from the Republic? Your ship registry is originally from the Republic world of Transal, therefore you are a Republic citizen. Or are you saying you stole your ship? No, no, perfectly legitimate. I see, is there more you need? Is there a star map on this world? Star map? Not precisely, but Manon holds many wonders, wondrous and exciting locales and treasures, Alto, not the least of them. Our many shops and boulevards cater the whim of many species and provide a vibrant nightlife that has to be seen to be believed. This is another tourist 
paraphernalia can be had from your local embassy, so do not waste my time with it. Fine. Then go and enjoy Auto City and do not break any laws that we would have to lock you up for. Okay. self cast talking. Um, so, do we have a deal? That's an awful lot of money. Is there something you're not telling me? Don't be so suspicious. The Republic is generous. We pay our mercenaries well. Makes sense, I guess. All right, I'm in. When do I start? Just show up at the Republic Embassy tomorrow and speak to our representative there. I'm sure he'll have some task he wants you to start on right away. Not all of that. Mind? I'm in the middle of a Republic recruiting drive right now. I need to hire these mercenaries before they sign up with the Sith. Why are you hiring mercenaries? In case you hadn't noticed, there's a war. If we don't hire these mercs, the Sith will. Now excuse me. I have to continue my recruitments. Hey, you could hire me. I could, I could be a... I could be a, a, a guy. A mercenary guy. Human, I wish to speak to you if you have to time. Greetings, human. My name is Milko Blas. I guess. I hope you're enjoying yourself here in Auto City. Our floating city is beautiful as it up. Truly a wonder to behold. Eh, I've seen better. You're a lot more friendly than most of the cell cap here. Cut the small talk. What do you want? You're a blunt, human, but that is perhaps what I require. There is a task I would ask, human, did I? I fear there is nowhere else I can turn. What do you want? Rest assured, there will be ample reward for this human. I only require information, nothing more. The Republic has been hiring mercenaries, many more than usual. As an official of the Zelka people, this is of great concern to me. I only seek the reason for this change in Republic policy. Why do you need me for this? I cannot trust anyone else. The Republic obviously wants to keep their secret. I have inquired often as to the purpose and been rebuffed. The Sith cannot be trusted to give me accurate, an accurate report of events. They will twist the truth so that it furthers their own goals. When the mercenaries are well aware of the high wages the Republic is paying, they would not report anything that might slow the flow of credits and fair accounts. To cover the truth about behind the Republic's disactions, and I will pay you 500 credits. I doubt the Republic would be involved in anything illegal. Still, if this Selkath has concerns, we could look into it for him. Please, see if you can find the answers I seek. Find why the Republic is hiring so many mercenaries. Find where they're going. Find why they do not return. They don't return, eh? Interesting. Alright. Once you discover some information, please come speak to me. Believe it or not, I am a friend of the Republic. Whatever the truth, I shall do my best to protect the Republic's interests and those of the Zell Cap, of course. Okay. I hope you're here to play some Pazak. I don't come here looking for sparkling conversation. Nope. So clear out already. <laughs> Mercenaries. I am not for hire. Perhaps the Mandalorian or the Achani can help you. Though they lack the stomach for certain jobs. Um... A mercenary who's not for hire? That's strange. Why do you care? There are other mercenaries you can hire, though I suggest you act quickly. The Republic seems to be in desperate need of mercenaries right now. They're not so desperate they have asked for my help as of yet. They prefer the simpering, submissive type, like the Mandalorian or the Achani. <laughs> what do you have against Achani and Mandalorians? They lack the resolve to do what needs to be done. The Achani believe in a non-existent warrior code of honor, and the Mandalorians prize credits above bloodshed. But I am Iridorian. Honor comes from slaying your opponent, and the true reward of any job is the taste of your foe's dying blood on your tongue. Damn. Ask whatever you wish, though you may find some of my answers distasteful. <laughs> Why are the Republic... Why is the Republic hiring so many mercenaries? Perhaps you should ask them. The Republic prefers not to deal with my kind. Though maybe they need an Iridorian to finish the job. 
The mercenaries they hire must be failing, as they are never heard from again. That is all I know. Is there more you wish to ask? I'm seeking an ancient star map, or some alien runes. Manon has no such things, unless the Selkath have them hidden away at the bottom of the ocean. Is there more you would know? Uh, thanks. Yes, I'm not surprised. There are few on this watery world who feel comfortable in my presence. No, oh, you're not that freaky, dude. For a while, the Republic were hiring anyone they could get their hands on. Now they don't have any use for us, Mercs. It's too bad. I could have used the work. Okay. And more in. If you're here to offer me a job, I'm not interested right now. I got so many offers I can't keep up as it is. Maybe that Iridorian skull slacker at the bar, or the Ajani nerf herder cowering in the corner are available. Um. Don't you hate the Republic for defeating your people? I'm a realist. It was war, after all. And even though the Republic destroyed my people, the leaders of the Armada were Revan and Malik. So I hate the Sith just as much. And with this war, there's plenty of opportunity to take bloody vengeance against both sides and make a nice profit along the way. We Mandalorians are always practical that way. Not like those bloodthirsty Iridorians or those honor-bound Ichani. Or anything else you want? What do you have against the Ajanian? Uh, now, normally, I charge you for information. The times are good right now, and I'm feeling generous. So ask your questions. Free of charge. Why is the Republic hiring so many mercenaries? They ain't saying, but the price is sure right. Of course, I haven't heard of anyone coming back, so I'm guessing the job ain't easy. You know anything about ancient ruins or star map? If there ever were any ruins on this world, they've long since disappeared beneath the oceans. Okay, thanks. So why are you telling me? If you're going, go. I don't need a status report. Blah, 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 blah. <coughs> nope. Greetings, human. My name is Shilas. Shilas? I've heard it said that you are no friend of the Sith. Is this true? The Sith are a blight upon the galaxy. My allegiance is around us. Actually, I kind of like the Sith. They got style. You are wise to be so guarded, human, but my sources are rarely wrong, and they have informed me that you are no friend of God's people. Though I suspect we have little in common, human, I share your dislike of the Sith. They have brought proof to my family. I am not a fool. I know the Sith do not respect our laws as the Republic does. Were it up to me, I would do everything in my power to aid the Republic in the war against Malak. But intergalactic politics stay my hand. Still, I know the Sith are evil, and I fear what they will do to my people and what they may be doing now. Get to the point. Many of the Soulcaths have vanished. Most who have gone missing are on the cusp of adulthood. The youth who will someday lead this planet. My own daughter, she Shesa, is among those who have disappeared. These disappearances coincide with the arrival of the Sith, and I cannot dismiss the connection. The Sith are up to something human, something sinister, I can believe it. What's in it for me? I'll give you 500 credits if you can uncover the fate of my daughter and the other missing cell cap youth. Not much, but all I can afford. I have no official authority in this matter, and my personal wealth is not vast. There's no one else I can turn to. The public agents are too closely watched by the Sith, and the Otto city authorities cannot act without proof of Sith involvement. I've got better things to do than look after missing look for missing tadpoles. <laughs> Sure, I'll look into it. I cannot imagine where to begin the investigation, though. I suspect the Sith did not, did not act alone. Perhaps the offworlders and the mercenary in play have known something. If you learn anything, human, report back to me at once. If you uncover the fate of my daughter and the other missing cell happy, I will reward you as promised. Okay. We might have a position within the Sith organization for one such as you. Your offer is pretty good, but I've heard some nasty things about you, Sith. Is it true you bomb Taras into dust? This is war. In war, certain distasteful acts cannot be avoided. But ask yourself this. When we win the war, would you rather be against the Sith or with us? You make a good point. And I've never turned down a job that pays up front. Excellent. Report to the Sith Embassy tomorrow for your assignment. I'll see you, Are you hiring for the Republic or the Sith? 
neither. But then why are you wasting my time? There's big money to be made here. I can't risk missing a job offer because I'm yapping with you. Okay. You're new around here, aren't you? My name's Duan. Care to buy a Sith girl a drink? That is, unless you're one of those simpering Republic soldiers. No. Oh, I'm Savage Press. I'm just here to check out the sweet prices. I don't have much to use for the Republic. I'm searching for some ancient ruins. I hear you Sith are taking an interest in Selkath youth. We Sith are interested in a lot of things. If you're smart, you'll stay out of Sith business. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind. You know? Mm hmm. Searching for some ancient ruins. Are you some kind of historian or something? You should forget about the past. Look towards the future. That's why I joined the Sith. The Republic is old news. And then I get stuck on Manan, the worst post in the galaxy. It isn't easy here, you know. Not with all the Republic soldiers walking the streets while we sit and do absolutely nothing. Manic should send a fleet in and conquer this whole sector, Kolto or no. But I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try. Okay. Oh, I get it. I get a little bit wild and you want to hold it against me. Come on, what's the matter? Afraid I'll drink you under the table? Hey, if you're not man enough to keep up, who needs it? Seems I'm not ladylike enough for some men. Well, I may be a woman, but I'm still a soldier. Barkeep, bring me another round. Okay. Hey, man. Clear out. You're cramping my style with the ladies. Okay. 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 Um. Hmm. Holding cell. Central. In the high court. So that's pretty much it, it would seem. This area. I guess we'll be coming back here at some point. Quick soldier, cell calf. Central. Anything anything else around here? Doesn't really seem like it. Game requires a lot of running around. Your precious Republic's days are numbered. It won't be long until Malak turns his armada loose on Coruscant itself. Save your empty threats, Sith scum. Malak isn't stupid enough to attack the core worlds. Now with the entire Republic fleet waiting for him. You're a fool. Send on Coruscant, our numbers will block out the sun itself. The galactic senators will collapse trembling in fear and beg for mercy at Malak's feet. You underestimate the Republic's resolve. We'll die before we surrender Coruscant. That can be arranged. Remember what happened to Taris. Malak could do the same to the core worlds. He wouldn't dare. Now it is you who underestimate our resolve. Oh boy. So angry and posturing. What's over here? General store. How much for all this stuff, Tybar? Gee, we I uh, got for the Sith a month's pay, but since you're a member of the Republic, I'll charge you a week's salary. Thanks, Tybar. Catch you next week. Selkath now seem more distant than before. They treat members of the Republic at arm's length only. I hope this does not negatively impact our tribe. To give too much deference to the Sith, then the monsters will simply come in and take over. But my feelings about the Sith are well known around Vato City. I, share, I shall spare you further outbursts. What may I do for you? See what you have in stock. As you wish, human, my inventory contains the finest Aerotech equipment you can find on Manan. All of it is far superior to the Zerk Corpus will the Sith are so fond of. Hmm. Okay. So, that's some heavy armor. Again, hurts my dexterity. But that is really a shame. Fiber blades, double fiber blades. Both a needler. 
Botham, I mean. Holdout Blaster. A cannon. Nice. Hmm. It's nothing really that I'm all that interested in. I guess I'll get rid of that. A whole lot of random junk. Public soldier. What's in here? Visitors Hotel. Sorry, buddy, but the hotel is closed. Ever since the murder, the Selkath have made me keep this place locked up tight. Only the Selkath authorities, and those authorized by them, are allowed in. A murder? This old Republic war hero by the name of Sunri was seeing the Sith woman here, Alasa. Well, they were seeing each other, but the other night a blaster went off in one of the rooms. Sunri got seen leaving the place, and the Sith woman was dead on the floor. But not everyone thinks this Sunri did it. So the Selkath are holding him in prison, while the case gets sorted out. In the meantime, they closed down my hotel. But enough about my problems. You can't stay here while the investigation is on. You'll have to find someplace else to stay. Sorry. Interesting. Can I get any more information Sorry, out of buddy. me? Ever since the mur- Mmm, lie. Have you seen a star map? A what? Nah, never heard of it. Now, this area is closed on account of the murder, so you're gonna have to leave. Who are you? Me? Oh, right. I'm Ignis. This is my hotel. But since the murder happened, I haven't exactly been able to do a lot of business. That's the price of law and order here, I guess. Okay. Yeah. So I could lie and, you know, just try and get in. I should probably get some sort of official authority before I go doing that. Hey, the Republic Embassy, finally. Welcome to Manan. I'm Roland Wong. As the official representative of the Republic Embassy on this planet, I'm here to help all citizens of the Republic should they require aid. Why are your soldiers loading so much Kulto? Kulto is a precious resource. Its healing powers are near miraculous. During times of war, Kulto becomes even more valuable. As long as we have the permits, we will continue to harvest Kulto and ship it to our Republic soldiers battling against the Sith. Of course, the Sith enjoy the very same privileges. If there was some way we could gain an edge over the Sith in our Kulto supply, but the Selkath are fiercely protective of their neutrality in this conflict. They do not want to grant either side an advantage. I have some questions about Alto City. I am on a mission from the Jedi Council. Perhaps you can help me with it. Oh, of course. Of course I'll do whatever I can. But I'm only a simple diplomatic representative of the Republic. I doubt I can be of any use to the Jedi Council. I seek a star map, the remnant of an ancient and forgotten race. An ancient and forgotten race. And you think it may be here on Manan? Hmm. You know something? Well, perhaps. But if you want to get information about that, you'll have to do something for me first. Of course. What do you want me to do? We were using a submersible reconnaissance droid in the ocean surrounding Otto City, and it was damaged. It took a data recording of the outside of the city before being driven off by the Firaxan sharks. But while it was returning to the surface, it encountered difficulties and was disabled. Its automatic systems floated it to the surface, but we could not retrieve it in time. The Sith were applying subtle pressure to the Selkath authorities for some reason we've not determined, and were able to delay us long enough that they could retrieve the droid before we did. The droid's data centers are heavily encrypted, so it will take the Sith several days, we believe, to get to its data. It was captured 12 hours ago. It is imperative that we get it back. Hmm, okay. What's the recording? It's intelligence information about Sith activities on Manon. 
as well as some oceanographic reports on the local marine life. Where is this droid? It's heavily guarded, we're sure, in the Sith Embassy here on Manon. Since we have no remaining soldiers to spare, and certainly not our elite ones, we have no one capable of entering the Sith base and retrieving it. That is what we would ask you to do. How am I supposed to get in there? There are several leads we've been working on to get into the Sith base. Any of them should work for you, although it might be wise to concentrate your efforts on just one. The first method that's possible is to help us interrogate a Sith prisoner we managed to catch after he tried to infiltrate our base. He's being held just inside our enclave. We think he may be able to give us the passcode that the Sith give their informers to enter the base. He has proved most resilient so far. Is there another way? We managed to pick up a crate of blank Sith data cards, the type they use for pass cards. The encryption system to unlock them is very difficult, however. But if you are more skilled than our technicians, you may be able to gain access that way. Okay, is there any other way? The Sith have got the Seltcaf to give them exclusive use of one of the main hangar bays. Visiting Sith Masters use this bay to land, then take a speeder over the water to an external entrance to the Sith Enclave. The luckless spy we mentioned earlier had a pass card to that hangar on him. While it is surely well guarded, it may prove to be the most direct route. Here's the card. The Sith base itself is very heavily guarded. If they became aware of your presence, I fear you would be quickly outnumbered and killed. Here is a pass card to get you inside our facility. You should find all you need to get started in there. You can choose whichever of the methods you want, as long as you get in the base and get the data recording back. Which method do you think you would like to try first? Let's do a raid. You'll need luck for that one. Odds are they have some pretty strong guards in there, but it's also the way most likely to succeed. I wish you luck in your task. Should you retrieve the data recording from the droid, return it here to me, and we can see about getting you that information. Okay. So... Mission for the Republic. Spoken to Roland Wan, and the representative of the Republic Embassy on Anon, he says that he may have information about the star map, but will only tell you what he knows if you retrieve the remains of a Republic probe droid lost recently to the Sith. The droid has sensitive data recordings of its mission outside of Otto City, and the Republic wants it back before the Sith are able to decrypt it. To do this, you will need to enter the Sith Embassy. He has given you three options. Interrogate this guy, decrypt some cards, you can use the key Roland gave you to force your way into the Sith-controlled hangar and fly outside Auto City into the Embassy through the rear entrance. The hangar is located at the west end of Auto City Docking Bay. Once you have entered the Sith base, retrieve the data module and return it. It's probably going to be the best way. I mean, it's certainly the Savage Press way. Well, thank you very much for joining me. We'll see you in the next episode.